Hey everybody, Eric Levy here. As you can obviously see, you're watching another episode of EML 77 TV episode 419, everybody. That's right. Uh, we're one week away from Christmas, ladies and gentlemen. One stinking week away. And two weeks from the away from the end of this decade of 2010s. Unfreaking believable. I'll tell you what. It's been... Uh, it's been it's been a hot minute, of course. Uh, I have not done a video. Uh, only three days ago, I did a, did a video. It was it was three days ago. Wait a minute. I did this Saturday. It should be more than three days ago. Uh, uh whatever. So, anyways, um, yeah. Uh, last time I talked about TLC. How, how everything went, and uh, Kyrie Sane uh, suffered a concussion. She'll be out for a while. I don't know what will what, affect on the women's tag team title defense. And uh, if I had a suggestion, if I was if I was a book, uh, I said, listen, you know, I would get somebody to replace Kyrie Sane during during the time that she's recovering, and I would pick Io Shirai to. Um, I would pick Io Shirai to fill in for Kairi for the uh, for the time being because Io Shirai has got a great connection not only with Kairi but also with uh, Asuka as well. Uh, when Asuka was known as Kana and during during their days in the Joshi uh, back in Japan, so as, as their Triple Tails days, that's what I'm thinking. If Kairi Sane's going to be out for a while and they, they need to defend the women's tag team championship, I suggest that um, Kairi, uh, Io Shirai would fill in should fill in because. You know, Io Shirai does have that connection, so we'll see, we'll see. So, see how that develops, and, um, well, I got a couple of, um, went shopping yesterday, and, um, you know, usually, you know, I go Christmas shopping for everybody, I don't know what everybody wants, and I don't know what I want for Christmas, you know. I honestly don't know, because, you know, I felt like, you know, buy everything on Amazon and eBay, for goodness sake, so I do apologize to my family for that, but that's a... But you know what? You know, sometimes you have to get it before you know it gets sold out or it runs out. Well, I went to Walmart yesterday and uh, got a couple of uh, Power Ranger figures. In fact, I always like to pick up the six Rangers, so like the extra Rangers. So I bought the Beast Morphers uh, Gold and Silver Rangers. So how cool is that? So, it, you know, this is the first um, Power Ranger figures I bought under the uh, the uh, Hasbro. Believe it or not, the Hasbro. Uh, Branch and uh, Hasbro Company, so these are the first two. They look pretty cool and they look pretty decent as well. So, uh, you know, check them out Power Rangers, Beast Morphers Gold and Silver, Steel and Nate, believe it or not. And, uh, well, on the cr it, is, it is a bit a bit crazy, that's for sure. So, these were the first, so, <clears throat> so I got that. Ah. My nose has been uh, I'm having a bit of a cold as of late, but I'm feeling better now. But I had to get this, nap get this napkin on because I never know when I'm going to need it. So, okay, and I got another uh, package from Am um, not Amazon for eBay coming in here. I'm putting it face forward, even though I have my address blocked off because somebody decided to put my address and everything else on the comments page. I don't appreciate that. That's why I blocked that person and deleted that person from. My YouTube channel, you know, you don't, you know, don't want to be disrespectful. So here we go. Let's open this bad boy up. I got a feeling I know what this is. Now this is an imported from all the way from England, I do believe. And uh, let me see. Oh, yes, it is. Got it right here. Now I used to be. I'm a big fan of gladiators, um, old, um, American gladiators, back in the day, and still am. But I found the British version of the shirt online, and this is the Gladiator shirt. So this is the, and I love you know the um, the the British Gladiators. Watched them on the International Gladiators version, and this is what the logo looked like, and I thought it was really cool. So I figured, hey, why not? All the way from England, so to my folks, to the folks in England that got a shirt, right here, the Gladiator shirt. I'll be wearing it proudly, and I also am honored to be followed by one of the Gladiators. After I compared him to then Neville at the time, and the Wolf, the Wolf Man. That's right, the Wolf Man. Dude is the most entertaining gladiator. He says he wants to be the, play the bad guy. Who would have thought that being the bad guy would make him so funny and so entertaining? And it's just so great. So Wolf Man, 
Wolfman, I'm dedicating this shirt to you, dude. When I when I wear it, I want to dedicate this shirt. Let me see this shirt again. When I, so thank you for following me, Wolf. And I got the T-shirt. I am a forever a proud gladiator. So that's for sh- gladiator. Okay, <laughs> that's really cool. Yeah, uh, Wolf from um, the UK Gladiators is, is following me on Twitter. I'm honored. Um, been a fan of the show. I have, I have, and when I first saw the International Gladiators, I thought, oh, this is a cool. Oh, this is cool. You know, good to see gladiators from different parts of the country. Uh, good in different parts of the country. Different parts of the world. You get the our American gladiators. You got you know Mike Animal. He's doing his thing, and then you got oh shoot, and then almost I saw Jet. I was like, oh, she's gorgeous. I like her. So yeah, Jet's my favorite. But Wolfman, who knows? Who knew that this Wolfman guy wants to be the bad guy? Even the international competition, like I got to show these bloody Yanks and Australians and Russians and Germans how it's all oh, done. And I'm like, oh great, here we go. <laughs> Like, hey, what's this, the WWE now? Uh, no, I, I like the Wolf, man. He's very entertaining. And he's pretty pretty funny on the... He's like he's like the very, he's like the gladiator's answer to Iron Sheik in the WWE. There's all these funny tweets and not, never afraid to speak his mind. And, and I'm like... You, it's, called, it's at fear of a wolf, man. You know, you gotta, you, you gotta follow him. He's just... Uh, mm. It's it's just so mind blowing. It's, it's so crazy. If you're a Gladiators fan, please follow him. That'll be great. Um, <laughs> so uh, yeah, it's been like I said, it's been a surreal, um, been a surreal week. Of course, um, weather wise, we ha- I had to be on the lookout. That's why uh, there's been a lot going on. A lot of stress has been happening. That's why I have not, like I said, I have um, not appeared on the Discord game shows. Um, on Ronnie's one two one two seven nine channel, on the MVG productions, I have not appeared on any of the discords for that reason because there's a lot of you know there's been a lot of drama and stress on there, and I don't want to add to what I've been going through, and just so I decided to step out for the rest of the year, rest of the winter, for that until springtime, which hopefully I can come back, and hopefully my routine at work will be a little simpler this time. Because sometimes my routine at work during the winter times could be a little bit complicated, and it all depends on what ha- what's been going on and what has been happening. <clears throat> so, I uh, like I said, I've been through a lot. So, um, plus this decade's about to come to an end. Uh, a lot of people have not liked this decade, and um, I have to agree with them because this decade has been the toughest, the roughest, and the toughest of all decades, and. Um, you know, it's amazing about how, uh, you know, a lot of things have um, changed, and I'm going to be I'm going to be discussing a little bit more about that as we, uh, you know, get you know, like I said, we're one week away. Uh, we were one week away till Christmas, which is uh, surreal in itself. And, like time is flying by. You're looking, going, holy crap, you know, like you know, you look at the calendar and going, holy crap, next week's Christmas. You know, it's something. Um, We'll see what happens. I don't know, a lot of things could change. Hopefully, Christmas miracles happen. Hopefully, if you guys are going, uh, just I know there's some folks out there. I'm not able to enjoy the holidays as much, and uh, you know, just you know, you know, try to you now try restore help help restore their faith in the, in the holiday season by by just doing something for them. You know, give them a go, message them, give them an encouraging word, send them a Christmas card or something. Um, you know, there's a lot of people that need encouragement out there, not just from all over the world, but there's some people, you know, on, not just from all over the world, but also people here in this country as well who have not, you know, not had a good holiday season for any, uh, for whatever reason there is. Just, you know, give them a Christmas card, just, you know, give them a pound of invite them to a house or something like that. If you see some, if it's somebody that you know um, and they're going through stuff, you know, encourage them, you know, don't. Don't, don't be bugging them or anything else. Don't be uh, pestering them or anything like that. Just you know, give them the time to recuperate and heal up and everything else. But at the, from a mental stand, standpoint, but at the same time, just um, you know, uh, just to be encouraged and just let them know that you're thinking about them. That's the holiday season. I know there's a lot of good folks out there. Um, yeah, a lot of things have you know have changed. Not only just this all over the world, but of course, in me and my family's life. I'm, I know this um, this decade alone saw three of the five oldest siblings in my family um, came out in my family getting married, and three out of the five oldest siblings in my family getting kids, and so it's uh, 
So, it's just, and, and I have another uh, another uh, baby on the way from my sister. Um, my sister and her, my brother-in-law are having another baby, I should say. <laughs> Last week we need a Jerry Springer-like thing going on there. Now, you know, my sister Jewel and my brother-in-law Jesse are having another baby. This time it's a boy. I think it's John James Alexander or James John. I think it's John James Alexander, J.J. Alexander. Um there was going to be a five-time uncle, which I'm honored once again. And um, it's, uh, you know, it's that crazy. And just, you know, my life's crazy and everything else in between. I'm kind of hoping that, you know, you know, there, hopefully that one day um, my sister Cora will give my parents a call and say, hey, listen, you know, but, you know, but it isn't going to happen. It's not going to happen. I don't know. If it is, isn't you know? I don't know. And like I said, I'm used to having people not talk to talk to me throughout the rest of my life, and uh, just and just you know, it's like I said, it's been, it has been a very complicated decade to say the least. So uh, a lot of people don't like it, and to me, it's very complicated because there's been a lot of things have happened, and you if it makes you it leaves you going. You know, so, anyways, um, we'll see what happens um, on down the road. And, you know, 2020, is it two weeks, guys? <clears throat> is it two weeks, 2020? Next year is in two weeks. Unbelievable. The new year in two weeks. I don't know what to say, man. I really don't know. Um... I'll be totally honest with you. I really, I really don't know. You know, I'm running out of things to talk about, folks. <laughs> I might get to cancel this show. Uh, I hope not. I'll think of something. You know, play more, get these thumbs. You know, I got Christmas coming up and everything else. So, it's, a lot of things, a lot of things have been crazy. So, we'll see what happens here and there. And I'm hoping that. Um, I'm hoping that uh, everything will go well smoothly next week. A lot of things are happening, so uh, so hopefully we'll will next year be the year I quit my job at the Dartmouth Mall. Um, I don't know. That's the thing. You know, it's up to me. You know, it's a lot of things that are up to me to make a decision on whether or not you know want to you know what's going to happen for me next year. What's my resolutions or anything else? I'm just gonna uh, take one day at a time and uh, you know. As far as work goes, on to Thursday. Um, as far as the rest of this day goes, um, I got rehearsal tonight. We're uh, doing a Christmas service on Sunday, which um, we're performing uh, six Christmas songs. So this will be interesting to say the least. Okay. So uh, so that's it. That's all the time we have on the show. God's blessings, life, love, and light to all of you. Um, catch you on the flip side. Pay attention. You might learn something. Um, if life hands you, uh, give, deals you a bad hand, change your cards. Of course, uh, we can't not change our past, but we can change our present time to work for our future. And remember, life is the ultimate teacher. We're all in a constant state of learning. So I will see you guys later. And um, I know I don't look this good, but uh, I'm not the best looking guy, and I'm not I'm not here to be a GQ or any crap like that. So um, so. Episode 419 is out, and I'll see you guys later, and you guys have a wonderful day. See ya. God bless. Peace.